I'm Brian with Next Step Audio Enhancement. We're back with you today to continue our Back to Basics series, and today we're going to talk about hooking up our speaker wires to our receivers. Now, it is relatively easy. All you got to do is take your speaker wires, you got to strip off a little bit of the ends, and you just simply plug it in. So you take the red and, and the black, and you can't tell red and black on here. Don't worry, neither can I. However, most manufacturers will give you a clue on the wire if you look close enough. So if we look really close at this one, we can see this guy right here has some black writing on it, very faint. And this side here has a very faint white stripe on it. So this is how we can identify this wire and make sure that we get the black going to the black and the red going to, well, the white. However, this is a video. We're gonna make it easy for you. We're gonna use this wire here. Now this wire here, you'll notice it's very easy to see the difference in the red and the black, but it also has a jacket here. And this jacket here is protection for running this wire up inside the wall or in the ceiling to your speakers. And this gives the protection that is needed in order to meet code for most areas. So for hooking up these wires to this receiver, it's simple. You just take your wire strippers. Most of you have something like this and you find the right size here. So the 18 gauge for the 18 gauge wire and you simply put it in here so that you got about half an inch showing and you smush it down and give it a little twist and this will pop off the end here like this and you take and put your end in your little baggie here and we do this because you know inevitably inevitably you will have little pieces of copper wire that come off here when you strip them and you don't want those to get down onto the floor because they'll get up on the socks and poke your feet and it's just not good so you take your wire, give it a little twist here, and it's a simple matter of you loosen this terminal. So you just unscrew it like this. And as you unscrew it, it'll have a little hole on the bottom there and you push the wire into that little hole a little bit more. And come on, give it to me, baby. It pokes in there and then you just simply screw it back in again and that will tighten it up and you will have a good connection for that speaker wire hooked up to your receiver. Then when you turn your receiver on, you're good to go. But we're professionals. We have other ways of doing things. So here's what we're gonna show you is the same tricks that we use, that you can use to make this go a little easier, a little cleaner, a little faster, and make it look a little better at the end. So instead of stripping off like half inch or three quarter inch like what we have here, we only need about a quarter inch here. And the reason for that is we're gonna use our handy dandy little banana plugs. These plugs, uh, you'll see one is red stripe and one has a black stripe on it here. These plugs go onto the end of the wire and simply plug into the back here. I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. So we're going to take and instead of this, all that bare copper, we're going to cut it back here. So just about a quarter inch is sticking out. Boom, again, inside a little handy dandy baggie so we don't get little pieces all over the place. And we simply take our banana plug apart like so. You take your wire that you just stripped, you stuff it up in that little hole in the bottom there until it just pokes out the top. And we're gonna take and we're gonna fan the copper pieces out around the edge like so. Take the end, you mush it back on there like that and screw it down and you've got a connection. And tighten that baby up and you're good to go. It's a simple matter of plugging it in. Now you may have noticed some of these other tools here while well, they're here for a reason. You saw what a pain it was to use these guys here. And a lot of you have them out here, but there's a better tool for this. We use a stripper like this. And this guy, it's a simple matter of you put your wire in there so it's about the right length and like that, and it's stripped. Go like that, and your little end comes off in your baggie. You're good to go. We'll do the same thing with the black wire here. We simply unscrew our banana plug. We put our end up through the bottom here so that it comes out the other side. We fan our wires out like so, our little pieces of copper, mash the end on, screw it down, just like that, and we're good to go. So now it's a simple matter of you push it right in here like so, red to red, and your black to black, and your speaker wires are hooked up, you're good to go. See how easy that was? Now, there's a number of advantages to this. One of the advantages that I really like to point out is you can sit at your coffee table and make up all of your cable ends with your banana plugs while you're sitting watching TV. And then when you go to 
connect them up to your receiver that's in your rack or on, on your cabinet there underneath and you got to reach down and around and the, the flashlight's pointing in the wrong direction you know what i'm talking about it makes it a lot easier to just to plug them in rather than try to you know screw and unscrew and get it in the hole it, 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 much easier it's also much neater see how nice this this is here when you have all of these lined up all in a row here everything's nice it's neat it's easy to use and if you ever need to move your receiver or move your speaker wires you simply unplug them you move it and then you come right back and you plug them back in just like that just that quick that easy no fuss no muss and you're good to go now if you like this video check out our website you can see it right here on the bottom of the video we also have it below here on our description there's a link there take a look at our Facebook and our Twitter feeds we have them out there also subscribe to our YouTube channel so if you has haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button and then like us because the subscribe button will let you get new videos as they come out and if you hit like it lets us know that we're doing a good job and I'm a little insecure so I appreciate that thank you for viewing and enjoy your components have a great day